This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so last uh, last session we you know uh, we learned about how do we take heap dumps and actually what is a heap dump, what all kinds of information it includes, and what are the different methods we can do. Uh, we can take a heap dump of you know different types of applications in different environment. So uh, most common ways of taking heap dump we saw that uh, using command line there are two three commands. Uh, J there is JMap is a common command. And uh, there are also few of the other tools uh, which will help us to take heap dump. Okay. Now in today's session, we are going to see that uh, once we take the heap dump, how do we actually proceed with the analysis? So what actually we should look for the look for the clues in the heap dump, and how should we proceed uh, proceed further? Okay. So uh, now uh, we will. Uh, for today's session, we will target uh, two type, two ways. So one is using tools that uh, <clears throat> that nowadays are available, easily available tools. And other option is that we uh, I'll also show using command because uh, in most of the uh, organizations or most of the companies, you may not be allowed to use freewares, you know, or you may not be allowed to use open source tools. So in that case, uh, using the existing Tools or existing uh, no, or tools that is that are available within the GDK. Uh, how do we can analyze the heat? Okay, so we will look at uh, those two things. Okay, so for this, uh, I have already started our uh, sample application uh, that is the JPEG store, and uh, now it is running. So I have also opened uh, J Visual VM. Uh, if the screen is visible to you, uh, which I hope should it should. So you can see that uh, this Tomcat PID is there, 27296, and this uh, JPEG store application is running. So you can clearly see at the right side heap graph. Uh, so you know a heap memory is progressing, and you know the uh, GCI is GC at particular interval is happening. So uh, the application is at, in running state, and it's uh, actually. It's already it just started before uh, one or two minutes, so we, we we will let it run for some time. Uh, meanwhile, we can I can show you that how uh, we are going to take the heat. Okay, so now as we have already opened the J Visual VM, so in J Visual VM you can take heat dumps, you know, uh, by um, uh, in two two ways. Right now you can see this is the left side uh, where you can see the all the applications listed. We just right click the application you desire and uh, you, you see the options over there, right? Thread dump, heap dump, and snapshot. So you just click on the heap dump and you will uh, you will get the heap dump of that uh, at for that moment uh, of the application. Otherwise, you go to this uh, monitor tab in the you open this PID or open the uh, process that you want to monitor of your application you open once it's open like this uh, now that i opened this tomcat pid and just go to the monitor tab in the monitor tab you can see uh, the heap memory monitoring is there so you, you are seeing this graphs just above the graphs you can see two options one is perform gc and heap dump so uh, this way you can also take the heap dump over here if you click if you just click the heap dump it will again capture the heap or uh, it will dump the heap of the application at the moment Okay, so now let's just take a heap dump. You're using one of the methods, so I'll just right click on the PID and, and I'll click the heap dump. So now you can see within an instant it, it got generated. So you can see that heap dump in the same uh, window. Uh, it will just open a new tab and it will give you the uh, total summary of what 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 has been captured. Okay. So now we will just uh, go through it and we will see that how we can analyze it through JVGM. So though uh, in JVGM there are not so many options available or uh, it is not that much uh, user friendly for you know first first time uh, heap dump analysis or whoever is analyzing the heap dump or who is trying to look at the heap dump at very first. So it is not that much information uh, available but uh, it at least includes the information which is required uh, for you to analyze the heap dump, right? So you can see that I've already opened uh, this heap dump. So there are uh, four tabs uh, as of now. So it's summary, your classes, your instances, and this is OQL console. OQL is nothing but uh, 
object query language so similar to sql uh, we have a right a query language for uh, querying the objects so this is useful in the heap dumps because uh, if a particular object has been uh, suspected so you can actually look for that object uh, in entire heap dump and uh, you can trace that object or in which class uh, is generated this object or in which method this object is being uh, generated likewise so now we'll just go through the summary part so in summary you can see that uh, the first very first part is the basic information you can uh, which includes you know when the heap dump has been taken where is the heap dump file what is the size of your heap dump and inside the heap dump what are the total classes available what are the total number of instances and class loaders what are the gc routes and total number of objects pending for uh, finalization okay so gc roots uh, is a very important thing when we are dealing with the uh, heap dump okay so gc root is uh, the G, the root of gc which are accessible outside of the heap okay so this is the point where it is accessible outside the heap so that's why that's how the gc works okay so it will first uh, collect the gc roots and it will mark the live objects and whatever the live objects it has marked it will spare those objects and rest of the objects it will consider as a dead and all the objects will be swiped or sweeped from the memory okay so this is how the your, our gc work that we already discussed the next part uh, in your summary is your environment so on which machine or which whatever uh, jvm you know hosted on which machine and what uh, java vendor you are using what is the java version all this basic information okay then uh, we have system properties and uh, thread dumps okay so this is something new that uh, threads are the heap dump so since uh, jdk uh, 8 uh, 8 above uh, they have started giving this uh, facility so whenever you take a heap dump at the same time uh, they will also it will also take a thread dump okay so it is a complementary uh, for your analysis because uh, most of the time we can uh, it is it is observe that uh, the objects in heap uh, they are actually related to the particular thread running at that so it is also important to analyze the thread dump at the same uh, snapshot or at the same time whenever you are taking a heap dump okay so you can correlate your analysis uh, uh, efficiently okay so uh, just if you just click on this yes it's a challenge question yes yes so, so if we take if we take the heap dump, it's like we are up, we are we are we are taking thread dump while the yeah. heap dump, right? There is very much disturbance from your side. And okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, keep on, just go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So whatever whatever your question is, and we can just type in once if you are able to join through the. Uh, Laptop or uh, in in the chat you can ping the question. Uh, you can access the chat over phone. Yeah, yeah I'm on phone. Can. I can't join using the, the the laptop. No internet connection. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No issue. No issues. So what was your question? Now it's still clear. Your no, voice is clear now. So I was asking during hip dump is like we are taking thread dump. But what about during thread dump? Is it okay? We'll be taking hip dump also. The reverse work or it doesn't work? No, no, it's not the reverse. So when you take a thread dump, it is specifically you know, thread dumps are, are taken in, within a regular intervals. So thread dumps is uh, like say within a 10 milliseconds span or 5 to 10, uh, uh, most of the time, 1 or 5 seconds span, you take a thread dump. Uh, but for heap dump, because heap dump is very, uh, you know, what, what we can say, it's uh, costly for the JVM. Because whenever a heap dump is triggered, uh, first thing will done, uh, first thing is going to be do, done is the uh, entire GC, the full GC will occur whenever you trigger a heap dump. Okay. So the reason uh, behind that is, <coughs> so uh, the JVM doesn't want to include all the objects that are being already finalized or that are already garbage collected or or marked for garbage collected. So all these objects will be get stripped uh, with a GC and then your heap will be dumped. Why the thread dump is coming with heap dump uh, is because uh, that JVM wants us to you know show that these are the threads where, which are running when you took the heap dump. So it may help you to analyze further and it may help you to process you no know, if your CPU is going high or something. Some issues you can correlate with that heap dump. But the reverse is not true. Whenever you take a thread dump, it will always not trigger a heap dump. But heap dump will trigger a thread dump for sure. 
Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So now uh, I'll just click on threads so I can we can see the thread number also here. I'll just click on threads. So it is uh, all giving you in the same window. So <clears throat> you can see the threads at the heap dump. Uh, the title say, says the same thing threads at the heap dump. So whenever you're when you take to the heap dump, what are the threads running and you know what what was the status of the threads? What objects they have locked in? So all this information you can see over there. And we already we already saw that how do we read a thread <coughs> thread dump, right? So you can see most of the threads uh, in waiting state, one few few in runnable state. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so this is how uh, you get your thread dump. Now let's move to the uh, actual part, uh, analyzing our heap dump. Okay, so now we have this heap available over here. Now you can see that uh, there are uh, at the right side of the plane or at right side of the window, you can see there is one uh, box which is showing inspect and it is showing the biggest object. So we have it, it is by default uh, they are giving find the 20 biggest object by retained size. Okay, so this is uh, the general phenomenon the, uh, of heap dump analysis. So what what is actually looked for in heap dump analysis is which are the uh, objects or which are the classes which of the instances are actually consuming most. So uh, so why it is that because uh, we need to understand the purpose of taking a heap dump. So when we take a heap dump, that previous to that we suspect that there are some memory issues with the application. Either application may be leaking a memory that may be you know that may be a conclusion of uh, observing the runtime uh, memory graphs and it is not collecting the GC is not able to collect entire memory. That means we can conclude that it is having a memory leak. So now to find out the memory leak, we take a heap dump. Then other there are multiple reasons like. Okay, application is not sustaining properly or there are multiple uh, restarts are happening and memory utilization is not proper memory is getting filled up uh, very soon right so there are multiple reasons uh, we take a heap down to right so all this starts with the the analysis starts with the uh, common thing that is to find out the biggest objects or biggest uh, you know uh, space taking instances or classes so that's why we have the this rightly available over here. So find 20 biggest object by retain size. If, if you just click find, it will it will do a query. You can see that retain size will be computed. So there there are two different sizes. Okay, I will show that uh, once we open this uh, in the mat analyzer. So now I just when I just click on yes, it will open the. Uh, you can see this is computing the retain sizes and it will open an, another window. Uh, and it, it will another in another tab. We can it, it will list all the objects which are you know uh, 20 objects which are biggest in the size in inside this heap dump. So let it compute. So what is uh, what is a retained size is like? Uh, there are two different sizes when you say a heap dump. You can you can uh, you will see uh, two sizes. One is the shallow size and the uh, other is the retain. So shallow size is nothing but the uh, maximum maximum space which is required for your object. Uh, like it is a character, it eight bytes uh, integer, your eight byte integer, right? And the retain size is what? Uh, whenever uh, you take a heap dump, so retain size is how many you know objects or how many uh, this classes or instances or objects are created for with this particular under this particular class so retain will actually give you the size uh, which is uh, which can be reclaimed if these objects are cleared out the out of the memory if gc swipe out these objects this will be the retained size that can be you know reclaim in the heap so that size it will show so now that's why it is computing the retained size that means it is actually trying to calculate how many objects are which are this says this size is available Right, so if the, these 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 objects are freed from the memory, how much memory can be retained, like that? Because so it's still computing the retain sizes. <clears throat> so 
so till it is doing that we'll just uh, try to move to the next tab and uh, we'll just try to discuss what's there inside this okay so next tab you can see the list of classes uh, present inside the heap dump so once i click on this classes uh, it is already sorted in the downward direction so number of instances consuming most memory is always on the top and uh, in the same way you can see that uh, in this window you can see this character class uh, instances so percentage of instance instances it is no it is already sorted uh, from down to high to low so maximum instances of cl character classes can be seen uh, so there are total 68167 instances of this character class so this is the native classes of java right so uh, the problem with uh, this uh, j visual vm is that we we will not be able to uh, actually get uh, inside the things it will show us the this kind of things only so so character class concurrent heap have so we will not be able to actually analyze that what is uh, uh, what is the problem or we need to dig uh, dig down further to check uh, what is the problem <laughs> okay so you can see instances sizes uh, sizes there so uh, for the character class for the all this uh, instances 20% of the instances inside the heap are for the character class and uh, they are consuming out of 38% uh, size okay so uh, how do you find out the objects inside it just, you just right click it and show in uh, instances view or show only subclasses so this this you can see uh, once you right click in show instances we already we already have that instances in the same way that we uh, in uh, in the mat we we see the objects inside that instance okay so now if you see uh, in the instances we now we can see all the character uh, instances all those instances that have been listed for this class 68167 all these instances will be listed over here so first 500 will be listed first if you want to dig down further then you can uh, you can scroll it down but you know that deep level analysis is not at, not required so uh, in this particular window you you can see the particular instance and what are the character values that, that are being that have been hold inside the uh, instance okay so for example if i i just click this first instance you can see there is some uh, zero colon zero zero there is some kind of character value so you can see there is uh this character value is including the gate command okay gate jpeg store actions catalog dot actions station id so this is entire thing is included in this uh, particular instance so this is nothing but the log okay so so the tomcat log that that uh, that has been logged it is actually inside the heap okay so it is uh, taking uh, whenever you are taking a heap dump it is logging it so these things are there uh, at the at the bottom side you can see uh, total array type object type and primitive type it is uh, there are there are the attributes or legends you can see so it is uh, it is already described uh, square bracket means its array type uh, a red dot is your object type so what is the object type is character buffer cb right and uh, you can see this uh, there are the different types of legends described over there gc root and loop if there is any kind of loop you can uh, you can also see that uh, inside the references tab okay so now uh, as I, so I as we you know discuss about that uh, retain size so you, here you can see there is also an option compute retain size but it is not available at the instances level okay you can you can compute it at the very high level and it will start calculating the references and uh, collecting all these things okay so the, i think this computing computing is still not completed let me just restart it uh, it, it got hung for some reason i don't So, uh, so this this deep down analysis is only applic applicable in Java application, right? Not any other application. So, whatever applications are using JVM, you can uh, do the deep down analysis. 
so we already discussed the different types of heap type uh, heap terms right there are some portable heap terms uh, for our java application there are some uh, h uh, h prof and binary terms for another application so whichever application is running on jvm it will uh, uh, we can take a heap term okay 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 so just move to the instances uh, now this is the basic information of uh, we see and how do we uh, analyze or how do we you know cater the or uh, segregate this information that's that and that now we are seeing there okay uh, there is one more option or uh, uh, just going to those classes uh, tab you can see this compare with another heap dump option is available okay so we have discussed this kind of scenario when uh, we need to do compare this heap dump so whenever we are uh, we are observing that there is an ap uh, application uh, is, is uh, generating a memory leak or it's causing memory leak at that time we will uh, advise to have three different heap dumps right one just after the application start and it's normal nothing is uh, going on the application it's very in, it's in an idle situation at that time we take a heap dump another heap dump to take when application is running <coughs> Okay, so now users are accessing the application and uh, it's, it's, uh, it is under the normal load. Okay, and the third heap dump uh, it will take or it will automatically be taken by the application when the out of memory error occurs, right? So these three heap dumps, when we have these three dumps, we can use this compare with another heap dump option over here to just to find out which are the objects and which are the classes are there in the heap dump which are required to run the application normally and which are the classes which are uh, you know actually containing or uh, holding the sizes heap size and leaking the memory right so this is the for the detailed analysis of memory leak if you are not able to find out within uh, the out of memory generated uh, heap dump we can use this kind of uh, method for uh, analyzing this okay so now let's just move to the uh, another tool uh, that uh, we will be using it's mat okay so mat analyzer i already downloaded the setup uh, and i will show you how you can open the heap dump so before that uh, we will just save uh, this heap dump and i will show you that how do you just right click on the heap dump uh, in in this application tab click on save as okay uh, it will uh, ask you for where you want to save it so we'll just give one path okay so it is heap done uh, uh, after the heap it, it automatically puts uh, the date time stamp we'll just make it more readable 31st july okay so i've just saved this heap dump okay now we will open one uh, uh now we'll open the tool uh, mat analyzer There is a jar file for this uh, mat. I have downloaded it. I am not able to see where it is. Okay, let's do not waste any time. We'll just we can download it, it fresh.
Session is recorded, right? Yes, it's getting recorded. Okay, so you can see here uh, the link is just Windows X8664 that we want to download. Okay, so it's getting downloaded. I already had it downloaded. I don't know if I misplaced the setup somewhere or. Okay, so till it's uh, getting downloaded, we, I can also show you that uh, the second part that uh, we would be doing, right? Uh, using a uh, online tool that is Heap Hero. So before that, let's take another Heap dump so that we can compare it uh, with the previous Heap dump. It just, I'll just click on the Heap dump again uh, in the JVM, oh, sorry, J Visual VM. Okay, and we'll also show save this Heap dump as. In the same path. Okay. Okay. So meanwhile, it's it, it got downloaded. So let just. Open it quickly. See this mat is and one application is automatically you can see this so just you just have to extract it who have the source code of the hit box of the application Okay, so now you can see that uh, this memory analyzer window has been opened, and uh, at the at the very front page you can see there are different types of options available. Uh, so how to get a heap dump? Uh, if you click over here, you will uh, get the entire uh, commands uh, take a heap dump and all the things that we already discussed. Okay, so we are interested in opening a heap dump. You can see this workspace open a heap dump. Okay, so I just click over here, open heap dump, navigate to the path that we have uh, we have saved the heap dump. Okay, so I will I want to open this one first. Just click on open. Now it is uh, passing the heap dump file, and it will show the same kind of information, but the additional uh, you know. Uh, benefit of this using this tool you can say this there is one window now which is seeing getting started wizard in this it is automatically showing you the three possible ways uh, you can analyze this script up okay so there are the three possible uh, what to what we can say objectives for this you know or uh, analyzing the system first is your leak suspects report so it will uh, automatically check your hip dump for any memory leaks and uh, the suspects of any leak 
if the, if the objects are uh, uh, being leaked right other second is your component report to set it will analyze the number of objects uh, in your memory which is you know which may have uh, issues memory related issues like uh, some of the duplicate strings or empty collections finalizers weak references etc right and the last one is your uh, last option is your reopen the previous error reports okay so uh, this option is also available once you take a heap dump okay uh, i will also show that how when you where you can access the same uh, wizard okay so as of now we will just start with the uh, by default setting leak suspect report and uh, i'll just click the finish so once i click the finish button you, you can see at the right side of the bottom it it, it started gen uh, generating one list uh, report so you can see this uh, it is it's already generated this report leak suspect report okay so how do we read it just let me just adjust the window so you, you will be able to see it properly so before going to this report use this overview tab in the overview tab it, you will have the same information that we had in the you know, jvisual vm summary tab okay so all this information right what is the uh, when we have this taken what is the size and everything but the advantage of mat is that you get a graphical representation of everything right you can see this the total uh, size of your heap and uh, how it is distributed account uh, among the objects so if you just hover and uh, any of the one any one of them you see at the left side the you, different types of attributes are there uh, left side of the mat analyzer is your inspector uh, it will give you the details of that particular area right and uh, same way uh you can see this objects are uh, biggest objects by retain size uh, they are segregated in a pie chart format right you can see this circle and total is 21.5 mb that can be that these objects are retained and 16 of 16 mb of these objects have been marked white and the rest of the objects are you know have and the different colors are given okay so as you scroll it down in the overview tab you can see there are reports section and here you can access the same thing the the report that we all already uh, included first we already generated the leaks suspects report after that you, uh, we have the top components report okay so this same window can be accessed from here okay and the last was here your component report which will actually analyze all the objects which belongs to the common root package or common class loader okay now at the left side also you have uh, different actions available on this heap term first is your histogram then your dominator tree then top consumers and duplicate classes right so this actually gives you a lot of uh, control or lot of uh, insights of your heap memory analyzer tool so if i just click on this histogram it will list me the entire classes objects and shallow and retain size okay now this is the this is the thing that we were discussing before uh, objects shallow heap size and retain heap size okay so you can see this character string again over here which is having highest number of objects in the heap and the numeric value of shallow heap size is so, uh, somewhere someone somewhere around 10 gb oh, sorry uh, 10 mb and the retain heap size will be uh, is approximately same okay so this is how we actually uh, get the total number of classes now if you just right click on this class and <coughs> you can see there is the option list object with outgoing references okay so uh, whenever you see whenever you are analyzing this heap dump you just want to check uh, the top con uh, top contributor or top consuming classes and just click on this read with outgoing references so list objects with outgoing references so it will list the objects which has a reference to another objects right so in this way you can analyze this heap dump and you you you, go, you can go deep down inside and you can check which actually which are the objects which is causing uh, more heat memory just uh, you just click this uh, expand this bar you can see over here so uh, there is no other objects inside this now Th that is the final character objects okay so in the similar fashion we can identify the objects which are actually you know using a lot of space in the memory using the histogram okay now just uh, move to the least leak suspect report so 
this mat analyzer will uh, automatically analyze the uh, heap memory and it will uh, it will give you some suspicions right so it is not necessarily two always okay so it, it it is up to you for you to analyze it and uh, understand uh, the fact that the leak suspect will always give you some suspect so uh, what it is doing it actually it is it is actually uh, trying to get the uh, classes and uh, uh, the objects which are uh, consuming high memory it will all, uh, all automatically list this and it will uh, treat them as a suspect so now you can see uh, it has it has given two leak suspects so one is with uh, 2.2 mb and another is with 6 mb and there is uh, one more is this c remainder okay so we will also we can try to understand what suspect it is showing us so you can see the class loader component org apache catalina loader this something important and then this uh, object id has been given this occupies 10.13 percent of bytes the memory is in class loader component okay so we know that this cloud class loader is auto already required for the, our application to function right so there is nothing that we can do about this okay so uh, you see the detailed information for this objects if you want you can just copy this address of this object and search in the uh, heap to to locate this particular class same way the problem suspect too you can uh, see java.lander class loaded by system class loader occupy 28.03 percent of uh, bytes right so now this particular class is required java.lander class is uh, by default a definition of uh, sorry i think oh yeah i i thought uh, that it is disconnected so so by default it's a definition of class and it will be required for the java to you know work on so uh, how we can do over here is see you can just see this uh, uh, total uh, instance name class java dot beans dot trade group context okay so uh, if i just that right click on this and i just click to i try to find out this object where it is control c and uh, you can see this find uh, uh, find object by address uh, is there i just click i just paste this address and i try i click ok so now you can see this uh, this uh, search has been uh, ended and you can see this uh, class java beans red group that whatever it was showing in the report i can find it out now now you can see inside the context uh, thread group it is it is consuming the maximum heap size three three seven six four uh, it is spent approximately 20 mb right so you can see you can drill down it and you can see this there is one table weak identity map okay so this is that's nothing but it's an hash map entry so it is actually consuming the maximum heap so you can see here you just, just this is the way you do it analyze you just go deep down uh, drill down it and try to find out uh, what is the problem causing it now we are drilling down it again and coming to the the last entity is this table and you see this different values inside the table there are different hash map entries okay you can see this hash map entry using this much size particular hash map so now this hash map is required to function right so we cannot do anything about it right so it just the way of showing that how we can analyze the uh, memory heap dump for the memory leak this is the way that we we should do it okay now uh, again again going back to this uh, report okay so now understood that how we are uh, how do we should find it and uh, how we should go to the uh, analysis right now again uh, sorry sano different types of information are available in, in this report uh, i just okay so i've just clicked on this uh, table of contents and you can see this uh, system overview hip overview system properties thread overview top consumers okay so different information is available so we already gone through what is heap dump overview system properties and everything right 
so thread overview is also one this uh, one section that we already know that uh, whenever we capture a heap dump it will automatically generate a uh, thread dump and you can see the thread overview inside this mat also right so top consumer you can see this object overview so which are the objects which are uh, which is actually causing uh, the top uh, which are the top consumers so you can see this catenal loader parallel which is the same again listed in your uh, leak suspect report then uh, classes for you so it, it gives you segregated information uh, for each and every class each and every object how many classes uh, is load how many classes are loaded how many objects are there inside a class which is having highest memory everything okay so so this is the kind of information is available uh, in heap so i wanted to show you one more thing uh, which is uh, comparing your heap dump okay and how do you do it so there is one button uh, once you go this uh, class section okay let me just uh, quickly quickly close this uh, welcome screen so i uh, you know it's expanded now area so uh, i i just i just go in this uh, leak suspect report right Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we go to this leak suspect report. Now inside the leak suspect, okay. So this is the heap dump overview, and there is one button where we can. Ah, uh, yeah. So once you you go to this histogram tab, we can see this button is enabled over here. Compare to another heap dump. okay so it is ready available now when i click uh, this compare to the heap dump so before clicking you just uh, try to observe what is the object size what is the shallow and what is the retain itself because you know uh, this comparing will be actually at the class level or at the uh, object level okay so we you will not be able to get that how many classes are new in this heap dump analysis things but it will be at the similar class level so it will uh, apple to apple comparison will be performed uh, by this tool so just now when i click this compare to heap so no other heap dump opened in editor okay so you just have to open another heap name okay open heap dump i have already captured it so this is open okay so when when this heap dump is open now it is passing okay so i don't want to it will automatically generate the leak suspect report and now inside the histogram tab now if i click on this uh, uh, button to open uh, compare so it will automatically show me the another open heap dump i'll just click okay okay now you can see uh, it has generated few of the numbers now its objects and shallow size it is showing plus something right so plus 1202 plus 1400 what is this meaning is that the second heap dump that we have taken it is having 1202 classes extra of this particular reference soft reference so this byte classes 11 objects are extra 1202 objects are extra 104 objects are extra in that heap okay same way if you do this comparison in the another uh, the second heap dump okay i'll just click uh, open the second heap dump and histogram okay now if i compare this heap dump with the previous heap dump okay it will show it will should show me in the minuses okay so again it is showing that how many classes are uh, extra in this heap dump now you can see there is zero most of the uh, most of the classes you can see this is zero that means there is there are no extra class because this is the uh, latest heap dump which uh, which is expected to have more classes because application is running for more time compared to the previous heap dump so in the first heap dump you can see this these are the multiple classes which are loaded so now uh, the reason for this is that uh, whenever you take a heap dump you cannot actually replicate the object and you cannot actually replicate or compare the method and the same object because the object addresses will be different for every time you take a heap dump right so you cannot compare that uh, that 
uh, with the another heap dump at the same in the similar fashion but you can at least compare that uh, how many objects are there total for the particular instance which are being generated right so this is the way you identify that uh, how many extra objects are getting generated okay so this is basic thing that uh, i mean this is this is the guiding path this is how where you should start looking at your heap dump and where you should start analyzing your heap dump okay so first thing is done now uh, once you open a heap dump again at the overview page you can see there are different buttons available this uh, at the top uh, out uh, out of that uh, the same button uh, the run expert system this is nothing but the it's running the same leak suspect and all this right so leak suspect talk components and report and run report so it will give you an entire report of your heap dump whatever is there inside the heap dump what are the objects uh, causing uh, you know um, maximum size and whatever the objects are retaining high sizes uh, and the, in the similar fashion you have this query browser object query browser so it is it's okay to use this browser for smaller heap dumps where you have uh, less than uh, some uh, within a gigabyte size okay but if uh, your heap dump sizes goes for the production applications uh, the heap dump sizes are in uh, gigabytes right so for for that case uh, uh, it is not advisable to use this object query uh, language or this object query browser because it, it takes a lot of time to parse that query and find out that object you know throughout entire this gigabytes of memory space so it's better to use the visual method up, uh, other than this object query language okay so this is uh, how you do it with the uh, eclipse memory analyzer okay now another thing i want you to show is the heap hero thing uh, heap hero and how this, this how that tool will uh, give you the report but before that let's just quickly see that how we can do the same thing uh, on the command prompt okay so it may be it may happen sometime that you may not have access to either gvisual pm or you know you may not be able to download any uh, other tool like this mat analyzer so in that case how how will you get uh, the information that you need right so let's just open a command prompt over here okay i will just uh, click gps to find out which are the java processes running so you can see that there are three four java processes running so one is bootstrap second is <coughs> sorry main and jps so first is what what we are interested in right 27296 this is the pid of our application you can con we can confirm it uh, with our jvm right you can see at the left side of uh, in the jvm 27296 that is the pid now uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to do a j hat so you just enter the j hat plain command and you will see the arguments uh, for that okay so before this uh, we already have a uh, we already have we already taken a heap dump so we just need to use this uh, command uh, j hat with uh, and append it with the file read okay so but before that uh, we can also have uh, we can also include the uh, different uh, options okay so turn turn off the tracking object or turn off the uh, object references to another object so this type of uh, is available okay so uh, without wasting time we'll just uh, i'll just put j hat and uh, you just have to give the path of the uh, heap dump file okay so i've stored that file over here right hprop see so it is actually you can see this uh, there are different types of uh, yeah, generated files are generated so out of that you need to select this with ending with extension hprof copy it list it dot hprof and you just enter it Okay, so you can see it is reading uh, from this file, and oh, this thing failed to. Okay, so there are some warnings have been uh, given. So you can see this server is ready and started HTTP server on port seven thousand. 
so that means you can access this heap dump at your local host uh, 7000 port so if i just click local host and i just give port 7000 so i should see something yeah you can see uh, this is nothing but the jhat okay so jhat running so it is the plain information uh, of your heap dump okay all classes excluding the platform you see this package array and all this is listed all the classes excluding the platform so this is a very raw information okay so uh, when you are totally helpless and you, you cannot see anything or you cannot do anything uh, which will be rarely which will rarely happen uh, because today nowadays we have very much tools available like different apms are available different types of tools are available but it, at the you know it's what worst case scenario you can use this j hat and it will automatically open your, this web browser and you see this uh, list of classes so uh, i mean uh, if you go through each and every class it, it is it is very time consuming that's why we use the different tools like mat analyzer and different types of tools okay so, so idea behind showing you that uh, showing you this option is that uh, at least uh, you should be aware of that this is something is also available that we can use okay so now uh, just go back to this command prompt and you can see that there are multiple options uh, available with uh, jihad so you can use hyphen j flag to pass directly to the runtime system okay for example uh, if you use hyphen j and mx512 to use maximum MIP size of 512 mb turn off tracking object allocation hyphen stack false so it will actually, actually track the object whenever you are opening it uh, opening the file it will track this object back to the memory reference okay so if you don't want to do that and if you don't want to see this warnings you can use this flag hyphen uh, stack false and hyphen reference okay you can also change the port number uh, of http servers if, if anything is running on your port number 7000 you want to change this uh, and you can use this uh, by using this uh, particular flag okay uh, okay so that's all for this uh, using for command prompt let's just quickly show i will just quickly show with the heap hero okay heap hero so this is uh, this is something a new tool uh, or we can say this uh, an online available uh, which can access uh, your heap dump and uh, which can give you a, a good information about the uh, analyzing your heap dump. So it is it is saying that uh, before uploading a file, you, you should compress it. Okay, for quick results, compress in .zip or .gzip format and upload a heap dump. So we'll just quickly go inside this and we'll just quickly try to zip it because compression works very well with the uh, memory files you can see this uh, when when we compress it it's only 9 mb and the actual size is 32 mb of that heap okay so now i'll just click on choose file go to the directory you can see this is the file open and i'll just click on analyze so it will take some time to analyze so because it's compressed format now it will first decompress and do everything and it will run your it's all good okay so the idea of showing you is uh, showing you this tool is that because uh, whenever you do a heap dump analysis for that also you need a tremendous uh, memory requirement okay because uh, opening on a memory dump uh, in another system also requires some uh, high end configurations right so if you don't have this kind of uh, system available with you or if you don't have uh, information or uh, highest uh, you know highest capable machines with you you can use this tool because this uh, if you know they, they have their own servers running so you just have to upload your heap dump so that all the analysis part will be uh, you know will be done at their end heap you know end. okay so uh, again one closure uh, one thing is that it's totally third party right so you don't want to directly upload your heap dump to another third party tool without taking consent of your uh, organization and your security you know uh, protocols uh, considering your security protocols or whatever the 
uh, things that you uh, that has been implemented in your project or in your company so you need to consult your, your you know proper sources first before doing this kind of thing because uh, you know it may it may lead to your you know some consequent in, uh, consequent security actions uh, against you if you do this uh, without telling anyone okay another uh, way that you can use this hero is that uh, they this is available in api forms okay so you can actually call an api of hero to analyze the heap up so they have the detailed documentation in, on their side that how you can implement uh, this heap hero uh, in api format okay so let it just load so this is the last part of uh, this session that uh, we are going to see and after that uh, we are concluding this session and uh, the next session we will be discussing about uh, AWR reports and how do we analyze the AWR reports. So for that session we are actually trying to generate one sample application again and uh, I have already installed the Oracle database so once I get this sample application and uh, JMeter so we will load this application and we will see that how we can uh, generate the AWR report and how we can collect it from the Oracle database and what what are the different things in that AWR report? Yeah, Shikam, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Although yeah. I'm not using the team, but I'm going to be using the right now. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so I'm just waiting for this. Uh, uh, this is a to get up. There are disturbances from your side, sir. Can you uh, can you please uh, keep on mute? Yeah, thank you. So it's again taking some time. Let me just check if I have another heap term that we can do. Okay, so I have one sample heap term. Okay, guys. I think it's uh, it's taking some more uh, some more time. So what what I can do is uh, I'll I'll keep it uh, loaded. Uh, I'll I'll get it loaded. And uh, before we start the next session, so just before starting the next session, I will just show you the overview how it looks in the heap hero tool. Okay, it's just open. Now, uh, so this is the small heap dump that I've uh, given. The the other one is all still processing. Now you can see it's passing. Oh. The side growth crashed. Okay, so no ways. I will uh, have it ready for the next uh, session. We, you know, next session we'll start. So before we start the next session, I will. Uh, uh, I will keep it ready and uh, we'll see that uh, what are the different types of uh, yeah, not, I think this is open now. 
you can see this uh, this this is nothing but it's an extension of your mat tool uh, but this is very user friendly and it also gives you a very good level of information of uh, with your for your heap size okay so you can see heap statistics bottle size total object counts class count trade counts every everything that you get in the mat but in much more sophisticated way you also get the memory wasted you can see 3.92 mb 34% of memory is wasted and where it is wasted you also get that pie chart so there are two duplicate arrays there are some duplicate strings so there are some inefficient collections okay so this is where you uh, this is where it gets that right? the inefficient object arrays so this kind of analysis has been done so it's a very good uh, tool actually uh, then it gives what's in your memory by class so this same thing that we already have in uh, mat but in uh, this is represented in some different ways uh, which is easy to understand okay and you can see you just scroll it down you can uh, you can read it through and it is very much uh, user friendly to read and what is the different what issues what are the different uh, fixes that you can apply so these recommendations are also available inside this okay so uh, for the inefficient collections what you can do what are the different ways you can implement your arrays and what are the things that has been used so in that case you need the source code obviously if you don't if we don't have access to source code we can at least give this as a feedback or uh, as a recommendation to our developers that uh, was this is the area this is the class which is showing the duplicate classes in the heap terms so can you please you know rearrange this or something try coding it efficiently okay so this is the way you get so please try out this tool uh, i won't advise you to do it on your production applications just try the sample application that we are using right the jp store use that application see down to understand how what are the different things uh, available in this right because uh, i don't want you to have any issues uh, in your application or in your of a company if you use this uh, tool for the uh, applications or uh, the company are working in okay so uh, this is for today's session guys so next session we will uh, look for the awr reports and uh, how do we generate the awr reports addm reports and how do we analyze it okay so that thing uh, we will check uh, in the next session uh, so this is for now uh, so uh, completing today's session so if you have any questions or, or queries for this particular session please uh, post it through the email or you can send it to the whatsapp query uh, i will always try to answer it okay sanu uh, bye bye for now so i'm just signing off and uh, see you on the next session all right thank you so much you thank you bye 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 uh -huh.